Good evening. Welcome to Lawrence Middle School on our Back to School Night 2014-15. We're really excited that you're here tonight. My name is Mindy Malaski. I'm the principal. And I'm Anthony Bozitsky, the assistant principal. So tonight you're going to meet our fabulous staff. You're going to learn about all the wonderful courses and programs that we have here at Lawrence Middle School. So a few things in terms of logistics. Our health and PE classes with Cardinal Time and Seminar will be meeting in the gym. That should be on your schedules that your son or daughter filled out for you. Our related arts classes, which is our, fine, our art, our music, and technology classes will be in the cafeteria. And you'll find world languages, ASI, and study skills all together in the auditorium. So let me tell you a little bit about Lawrence Middle School. We have a fabulous staff, as I said before, and they are led by our house leaders. Our house leaders are Ms. Kate Reynolds, who is our house leader for the House of Draco, Ms. Tracy Bozarth, which is our House of Phoenix house leader, and Ms. Crystal Rogozinski, which is the house leader for Orion. They are a great resource for you, so if you have a chance tonight just to stop by and say hi to them, please do so. Um, you can find their email accounts on our Into Our Classrooms on our website page. If you want to find out a little bit more about our house structure, their websites have tons of information, so it's a great place to go to get information. We also have our great guidance and child study team. So tonight you might run into Ms. D. Tomasa, who is our social worker, uh, Ms. Gunther, who is one of our psychologists, and Dr. Poorwatcher is also one of our school psychologists. And we have two guidance counselors here at Lawrence Middle School, Ms. Patty Esser um, and Ms. Amanda Fertig. Our school nurse is Cindy Augustine. So meet them today um, as you go through the building. They'll be around. You can stop by. Uh, their offices are located right by the main office, um, and there's a separate guidance suite as well. All fall sports are currently underway. We have boys and girls soccer, cross country, and field hockey. We also offer intramural basketball every Tuesday and Thursday until the end of October. All students who participate in an after-school sport or intramural program must complete a physical by their primary doctor. The paperwork must be filled out and submitted to Miss Augustine so that our doctor could sign off on the paperwork. In addition to a medical physical, you also need to stay after for an impact test, which is a pre-concussion screening that is done on a computer and is supervised by either myself or Miss Augustine. Our winter sports include wrestling, boys and girls basketball, and cheerleading. In the spring, we offer softball, baseball, track, and intramural volleyball, and intramural soccer. Our clubs that we offer after school include student council, the dance committee, yearbook, school store, social club, homework club, and model UN. WLMS. And WLMS, oh, yeah. <laughs> which is currently filming this. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Our school workshops will also be on the announcements. We have homework club and math lab that will be offered two days a week. And lots of different array of classes that we have after school. So look for those workshops. They're a great after school, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 3 to 4, and lots of different things that we offer. So make sure you take a look at that information. Parents, you may also have noticed that the students have been issued new Chromebooks. The Chromebooks should be distributed to every one of our students at this point. We strongly recommend that you purchase a protective sleeve to ensure that the Chromebook doesn't get damaged. As you are aware, the school district has a harassment, intimidation, and bullying policy. Any information that you need, you can access on the district website and also contact the District Anti-Bullying Specialist, Mr. Tony Mormile. Attendance is strongly enforced. We encourage all students to get here on time at 745, and there is a four-minute transition time between periods throughout the course of the school day. If your child is going to be absent from school, we ask that you call in, that your child will be absent, and we also request that you bring in some sort of medical documentation or any other documentation regarding a religious holiday or any other reason for the absence. With regards to lunch, students have a couple of options with regards to payment. You can pay online. You can also come into the main office and deposit a check or cash with Mrs. Pressman. 
It's also a great way for the parents to track what your child is going to be eating and what they're going to be spending throughout the course of the school week. Any students that are in need of free and reduced lunch, you can obtain the forms in the main office. So let me tell you a little bit about our Reach for the Stars program. If you haven't heard, we our cardinal code here is about respect, responsibility, and readiness. Our students are able to earn incentives for their behavior as they are modeling the cardinal code. So everything that you see that comes out of Lawrence Middle School is always about being respectful, being responsible, and being ready to learn. And we've talked about that with our students in our cardinal time classes, in our assembly programs as we started, and our kids are doing a great job so far. But we want to continue that throughout our school year. So we want to remind them about responsibility. And as I said to you earlier uh, in our orientations, that one of the biggest issues is that a lot of our kids forget everything at home. They forget their gym clothes. They forget their Chromebooks. They forget their projects. So one of the things that I ask you again to do to remember is that try not to bring everything all the time. Sometimes they have to feel that a little bit, that uncomfortableness of not having something because they didn't do what they needed to do to prepare themselves for that school day. Um, because we're seeing that right now a lot of parents coming in consistently bringing in you know their soccer cleats, their um, again their Chromebooks and things like that. So. If you can help us with that in terms of at home reminding them about being responsible and what that means as a middle schooler and what being ready to learn is um, and obviously respect which they are practicing each and every day. We want to also tell you ways that you can communicate with us. We do a lot of phone dialers so if, we, if you're not getting a phone dialer consistently from the school please update your information. Um, you can call the main office or one of the guidance counselors and they can help you with that. You can monitor your students' grades um, using Parent Access Power School. Um, when I survey you guys all the time, you're telling me that that's what you're doing, so that's great. Keep that up. Um, but remember to be healthy about it, and you want to check maybe once a week or once every two weeks, um, but check with your, your child on, on how they're progressing. Our website has lots of information. The middle section of the website gives you news and things that are updated consistently about what's happening here at the middle school. On the left-hand column, those things tend to stay the same and they, you can find lots of different things. Our student handbook is online. Um, information about the student lunch program is online. Uh, we have lots of information. We also have a great app, um, an LTPS app for your phone. Um, so you can go on and you can um, download that app. Um, and that's a great way to get immediate information. There's videos, there's pictures, all of the news information is there as well. Uh, you're going to hear from our teachers tonight about their uh, classroom web pages for their teacher sites. They'll give you lots of information where you can find their information. Uh, we also have a Facebook account, LMS Nation, where we post lots of information. And we also have an LMS Nation Twitter account. So there's lots of places where you can get information and hopefully um, there's one of them that you really like to use and that we consistently try to put it, the same things on all of those um, sites. We want to thank the Lawrence Township Education Foundation. They are here tonight. Um, they have supported numerous grants um, for us here at the middle school. We're very fortunate. Um, for their support. You'll see that all around the building. They've helped in our music program. Last year they sponsored our arts festival. They've done tons of things for our library. So please, 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 um, if you haven't had a chance to visit them yet this evening, please stop at their table and get some information because we really appreciate all their support. We want to thank the Board of Education. Tonight here um, is Ms. Pepper Evans. She's here in the building, so you might want to stop by and say hi to her as well. We invite all of you to the community conversation, which is happening on December 3rd at Lawrence High School at 7 p.m. We want to hear um, how, how you feel about the Lawrence Township Public Schools. So you're all invited to our community conversation. And please look um, in your mail because we will be sending information about a survey that is going to be coming up so that we can begin our strategic plan. Upcoming dates. We just had our first welcome back dance. Um, lots of kids were, were part of that. We have a lot of things that are going on. We have a red and white calendar that is on our website. You'll find in your uh, information this evening on the, back, on the back cover, there's lots of dates and things that are going on, but consistently check our website. That red and white calendar has all the things that were uh, exciting things that are happening 
um, this year at LMS Nation. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to talk about our goal for the year. And our goals for the year center around literacy. We are so fortunate to have a fabulous librarian in Ms. Eileen Kramer. So if you have a chance tonight, please stop by um, our library. You're going to see some great things. We have a new carpet. We have new paint on the walls. We have great new seating. We're really excited about some of the things that are happening in our library. But more importantly, we're excited that our kids love to read. And we want to continue that not only here inside Lawrence Middle School, but outside. So we ask you to spend some time reading as a family. Take 20 minutes, 30 minutes a week. Um, if you can find the time, we do spend that time here in school where we're asking kids to read, have a sustained silent reading time, but do the same thing at home. Model that for your child. That's really important for them to have a love of reading. It's a lifetime skill, um, but our focus this year, and you're going to be hearing lots of things about literacy, and we have an exciting uh, book club, a family book night that is coming up, and that is November Third, it's a Monday evening and we are going to be the book that we have chosen is wonder so we have information on our website about it and we would love for you to be able to be there um, on November 3rd so welcome to Lawrence Middle School and we hope that you enjoy your evening